got Quincy Taylor, ProBodyBuilding.com, with a legendary Sean Ray, superstar, the mouth of the West. <laughs> We're one of the coolest cats in the sport. He's a good dude. I've uh, been around for a very long time. He's a uh, one this show and actually, several others. Well, actually, I didn't win this one. I competed in this show in 1986 in Niagara Falls. in second place in my career in the division. Danny Robinson beat me in that competition. I saw him as a teenager. He never competed as teens, but he was like the biggest teenage sensation at the time. Power lifter, 20-inch guns at 19. And I knew he was going to be in Niagara Falls at the Junior Nationals. I thought, if I can beat this guy at the Junior Nationals, maybe I got some potential. And I went there and he crushed me. And a year later, we wound up on the same stage again at the Nationals in 87. That's where I turned pro. What are, you, what are you doing right now, and what can people reach you if you're doing any, what are you doing especially for training or anything like that, where people can reach you? Well, I'm here with musculardevelopment.com. We cover all the bodybuilding shows, uh, all the major bodybuilding shows. We just were at the Junior USA's in South Carolina, the Trade Minute Show. And of course, we support anything that Pam Betts is involved in. We're covering it gavel to gavel, play by play. So if you go to musculardevelopment.com, you'll see me on the uh, men's play by play. Give me my little two cents on how the bodybuilders look and how they stack up, and then we'll have the finals where we do live interviews with the winners and the champions. And of course, we'll wind up at the uh, USA's next month where you won the pro card, covering that show for John Lindsay. And uh, it's really good working with muscular development because we can highlight some un, you know, untapped talent, and we can watch them grow and, and get into that professional uh, level. And it feels like we're part of their careers, like Evan Zetapani, when he won the Nationals, we just watched him win the New York Pro. So we're having a good time with muscular development that far. Right now, I'm trying to bring back some muscle camps. Uh, the muscle camps back in the late 80s, and I did a few of them uh, in the 90s, uh, were things that bodybuilders had an action. Uh, it was a great opportunity to train side by side with the pros and learn from the pros. Typically, I select about four or five pros, and uh, the, the amateur bodybuilders can come and train alongside the pros, going from different stations, chest, shoulders, arms, legs, back, and see how it's done with the proper technique. And then we'll break and have lunch, and we'll all eat together and kind of some really good friendships that actually are life lasting. I've done some in South Africa, Australia, Ireland, Florida, Las Vegas, and California. And I've got friends from way back in the mid-90s doing those muscle camps that I still talk to today. And I'm hoping to bring out a couple this year. Uh, right now I have my eye on Las Vegas, possibly Olympic weekend, and uh, Idaho doing something possibly with bodybuilding.com um, and a couple of others. But of course you'll find that information out at seanray.com and also on muscleradiobelts.com. And that's it. There you go, SeanRay.com. Check it out, look at it, learn it, love it. Pro is a state of mind.